Will Caesar's wedding day was certainly an emotional one. As he stood at the altar watching his bride walk down the aisle, he wasn't able to hold back the tears. But there was a particularly special reason he found the whole thing so emotional. Caesar and Lindsay Whitehead are a couple who live in Pascagoula, Mississippi. And this story is all about how the two of them found themselves at the center of what turned out to be a viral sensation just a couple of years ago. The whole thing stemmed from just one 30-second video. And Will, who now works as a youth pastor at the religious organization Springs Youth in Hurley MS, was the main focus of all the attention. The all-important video reduced plenty of people to tears. The footage was filmed at Will and Lindsay's wedding. However, something so emotional happened at the church that the video went totally viral once it was uploaded to Facebook by one of the wedding guests, Alyssa Hudson. Although Will had wanted to get married as soon as possible, Lindsay had pushed back the date. In her dreams, she had always imagined having a Christmas-time wedding, so in the end the couple decided that they would wait. The church ceremony took place in Eufaula, Alabama, and on that special day, family and friends filled the room, excited to see Will and Lindsay tie the knot. Little did they know at that point that they'd be witness to a very poignant moment indeed. The video begins with a shot of Will, a groomsman, and an adorable ring bearer standing at the altar waiting for Lindsay to enter the church. But Will isn't smiling at friends and family or looking nervous as you might expect from the groom on his wedding day. Instead, Will has one hand covering his face in an attempt to hide the tears that are forming. With a beautiful piano tune playing in the background, it's clear that the emotion of seeing his bride arrive is too much for him to cope with. After a few more seconds, Will totally loses it. He gazes at Lindsay coming down the aisle with both hands covering his mouth, and the tears rolling down his cheeks. There's no stopping the emotion, not even his trusty groomsman can do anything. The man to his left, presumably the best man, reaches over and grabs Will's shoulder to offer his support. But the groom continues to let the tears flow. Meanwhile, the adorable ring bearer gives the bride an enthusiastic wave as she approaches the altar. One of the wedding guests, Patty White, told Doombie D.A.M. how the whole church had been swept along with the poignant moment. I look around and everyone's crying. The whole place is crying with him, she said. It seems as though there wasn't a dry eye in the room. The video may only be 30 seconds long, but it's jam-packed with emotion, so much so that many people admitted to welling up when they watched it online. Facebook users loved the footage so much that they shared it thousands of times over. In fact, to date, the video has been shared more than 100,000 times, and it's been watched about 7 million times. People simply loved the way he reacted when he saw his bride, and Will became a social media sensation just like that. Beautiful, now that's pure love. Got me over here in tears, wrote someone who watched the video online. Another commented beneath the footage, that's a man that loves his woman right there but not everyone reacted in this way. One woman tagged her husband and asked him aggressively, where was this reaction? Referring to their own wedding day. It appears that Will's tears at the altar may have shown up other grooms who had held it together better on their big day. While people were quick to assume that Will was brought to tears by how beautiful Lindsay looked, there may have been another reason the bride's entrance was particularly special. It was all to do with who she walked in with. Will saw Lindsay walking down the aisle arm and arm with her mom. And that was very meaningful for the Will because in the run-up to the big day, the bride's parents hadn't been totally behind the idea of the couple getting married. So when Will's beautiful bride arrived with her mom, it was a pretty big statement and one that clearly meant a lot to the groom. After the happy day was over, the newly married couple jetted off to Florida where they spent their honeymoon. Controversially, some people criticized Will for being so overcome with emotion on his big day. Someone commented on the video that the groom needs to pull himself together. But most were full of praise for him, one person describing him as awesome, compassionate, caring, sensitive, and loving. 
Whatever people think about Will's tears doesn't matter. The main thing is that the couple at the center of it all have had their heartwarming moment eternalized on the internet so that they and other people can enjoy it again and again. This story was really incredible, but you will like the next one more. After a guy learned his bride had cheated on him, he got the perfect revenge on his wedding day. When a groom found out that his bride had been unfaithful, he decided that revenge is a dish best served cold. So he came up with a master plan and chose to wait until his wedding day to carry it out. The man then seized his chance for payback, and what he did next left all of the wedding guests absolutely stunned. But little did he know that his actions would later be immortalized on Graham Norton's big red chair. The Graham Norton Show has been on British television since February 2007. It follows the presenter's previous talk shows. So Graham Norton and V. Graham Norton. But this particular Friday night treat began airing on BBC One in the UK in 2009, having moved from BBC Two. At that point, the show changed its format slightly. Instead of ending the episode with a musical number, there's now a segment in its place that's the new cherry on top. It's actually called, That's All We've Got Time For. But the finale has been nicknamed, The Big Red Chair. The idea was a tribute to the late British comedian Ronnie Corbett, who was best known for telling stories from an armchair. Each episode, members of the audience sit in the chair and tell an anecdote to Norton and his guests. If any of them lose interest in the tale, they can pull a lever beside the host. That action tips over the armchair and the storyteller with it. So in 2016, C. Miss Inerney went to watch a taping of The Graham Norton Show. He's from Donegal in Ireland, but he now lives in London and works in sales. And when audience members were asked if they had a good story to tell, Miss Inerney knew exactly what he was going to say. If I was ever at a dinner or a party or something, and we were telling stories, I couldn't resist but tell it. Miss Inerney later said to YouTuber Jason Gunn, It was one of those ones where I was like, right, I got that in my back pocket. And it just came to my mind when they asked for stories when we were in the line for Graham Norton. So I just thought I'd go for it and see what happens. The guests on this particular episode were actors Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner and Chris O'Dowd and singer Niall Horan. And they were all astounded by what Miss Inerney had to say. While in the chair, he told them about a wedding that he had attended where things went horribly wrong. And it was all because of the surprising secret that the groom had kept under wraps until the reception. Miss Inerney kicked off his narrative by explaining that the big day had started out as normal. So a few years ago, I was at a wedding and the ceremony happened. It was lovely and then we went to the reception, he said. And it was there that things had seemingly gone rapidly downhill. It turned out that the groom, who was not named, had discovered that his new wife was cheating on him so he came up with a very public and unique way to humiliate her. In fact, the groom went through with the ceremony and acted like everything was fine, before flabbergasting guests at the reception. Miss Inerney recalled, everybody started doing speeches. And then the groom stood up and said to everyone, we're going to play a game. He asked everyone to stand up, so everyone stood up. Everybody was kind of giggling. But before long, nobody in the room was laughing. The groom asked each of the guests to turn over their plates. He said that some of them would each have a red dot on the bottom of their dishes. He then instructed the people that did have one to remain standing while the rest of the wedding goers were permitted to sit down. In total, eight people remained standing, and that's when the groom delivered a bombshell. Ladies and gentlemen, can you all please look at the gentleman left standing? He said, according to Metzinerni, they have all slept with my wife since we've been engaged. But the scorned groom wasn't done there. He apparently finished off his staggering speech by telling the crowd, I am now going for an annulment. Then he walked off, and Miss Inerney admitted to Gunn that you can have heard a pin drop. Gunn had asked a salesman to appear on his YouTube show to reveal some more details about the incident. The groom clearly knew well in advance, and he had the nerve to go through the ceremony and get to the reception and do that, McInerney said. 
The Donegal native confessed that he didn't know if the Grimm's actions were genius or crazy. Missinerni also revealed that he couldn't imagine what was going through the groom's mind as he was greeting people following the ceremony. We all muffed back our drinks very swiftly after that, I have to say, he shared with a laugh. He then added that it was difficult figuring out what to do when it came to the wedding gifts. In terms of the presents, it was a very awkward conversation. The dialogue wasn't ideal afterwards, he said. Gunn stated that Norton has described Miss Sinerni's tale as the ultimate big red chair story. And it was clear to see that the presenter and his guests were extremely impressed by the shocking soliloquy. At the time, Norton told the salesman that he had survived the potential embarrassment of having his chair flipped over. Indeed, Norton had high praise for the speaker. Good one, love that story, well done scene, you can walk, the chat show presenter said. Meanwhile, the celebrities on his sofa appeared to be in shock. Indeed, Amy Adams was left open-mouthed and Jeremy Renner even stood up to applaud the Irishman. And online commenters similarly enjoyed the tale of the cuckolded groom's revenge. Seen from Donegal on the red chair, Andrea Norton had me in bits. Koi B. Hegarty tweeted after the show ended. Another Twitter user added, Damn that story in the red chair. Kudos. The Big Red Chair segment has remained extremely popular over the years and included plenty of hilarious stories. One man told Norton about his nightmare babysitter as a child, who turned out to be that evening's very own guest, Chris O'Dowd. On another occasion, Sylvester Stallone pulled the lever on a woman who admitted that she fantasized about him being her father. So while hundreds of audience members have participated in the challenge, it seems that people won't forget Miss Inerni anytime soon. Many media outlets have branded his tale as the greatest of all time. And after watching the episode, one person tweeted, can honestly say I think that was the best red chair story I've heard yet. Cracking.